In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to work with the horizontal line tool in Squarespace and uh, a few little tricks you have. Uh, so this is actually a little more than the horizontal line tool. I'm actually showing you some cool layout tricks within Squarespace. Uh, so here, once we're kind of editing the page content, um, what we're going to notice is that if, say, we want to, I'm going to delete this quote block first just so that it doesn't interfere with what I'm trying to display. Um, but say I want to move this text and actually make this text like two columns. Um, so instead of reading vertically like this, we'd have kind of column here and column here. Well, right now, if I just try to grab that text, it all kind of comes as one thing. And, uh, I actually just kind of accidentally made a column because I had a spacer, but I'm going to delete that spacer again to not get in the way. But what if I want, say, these two lines to sit to the right of these? How do I grab those without, you know, grabbing the entire block? Well, that's where this horizontal line tool comes in place. Um, what we can do is just scroll right here and click to add a block. What we're going to do is we're going to add a line. And as you see, this horizontal line, very thin but subtle but um, useful little line, shows up. And we can use that as a design element if we want to kind of separate pieces of our, of our, of our site. Or we can actually use it to separate blocks of text. It's something I use it for all the time, and then I maybe delete the line afterward. But now we have these two separate blocks of text. I can come down here, grab the bottom one, and come over here, and look at that. We just now separated that text into two separate uh, lines right here. Um, but what if we wanted, say, the artist statement to sit again, sit on its own line? We don't like how this is sitting up here, and we want this to kind of read all horizontally across. Well, again, we can come up here under artist statement, add a horizontal line, and we just broke up the artist statement text from the text below it. We can grab this artist statement, come up here, and we see now that this is going to go all the way across the, the vertical, uh, as opposed to right here, where, which is kind of its current positioning. We're going to move it up here. And then once we're done with that and we've separated it, we can delete our line and we no longer need that. And now we have the text in these two pair columns just like we have right here. And if we want to use the line for anything, say we have a new section of the site down here, uh, we can go through and add a line down here. Now notice there's these two circles and they're right next to each other. Uh, this is something I haven't really demonstrated too much, but when you have columns like this, we've separated uh, the kind of grid into two columns. Uh, I can come here and click, and if we see right here, that line only spans the right side. Well, if I add a line right now, you see that line only spans this column right here. Um, versus if we take it and we go in the outer one, where we see the gray line goes all the way across, if we click that, the line now spans the full width of the page. Uh, so again, and we can do that same thing right here. We can add a line right here under this column. Um, so as you can see, the line tool is a cool design element, but it's also very functional and just using it to kind of break up text or to kind of arrange things and to kind of create these temporary space holders. Uh, so I hope this was helpful. Uh, try to get into even a little bit of the advanced stuff with the visual editor, but all useful things nonetheless, and I'm just trying to kind of show you some of the tricks um, and tricks in the tricks of the trade, if you will.